Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Yeah, you know, I've got Open Media Vault running on a Raspberry Pi with two 8 terabyte USB hard drives, and that's my network storage. But then, you know, I realized I've never mounted a network drive in Raspberry Pi OS. I worked through several of these different articles, and I'm not going to link to any of them because they're all missing something. I'm going to give you all the complete details. Like, I, I went like three or four iterations of this. If you follow the directions here, when you get to the end and you reboot, guess what? Your mounted network drive is not going to be there, and you're going to have to run the amount command after you boot back into Raspberry Pi OS. Not what I was looking for. This guy was trying to figure out how to modify the FS tab file so that he could mount a network drive. He did find this sequence of commands works, and we're going to mimic some of that here. This article basically devolved into you're posting the wrong forum and add the auto parameter to your entry in FS tab. Now here's more of the, hey, my mounted network drive isn't there after I reboot. And this points at a whole different thing. I'm going to give you everything in this video, so stay tuned. It comes down to here. It's kind of worded funny, but they restate it in this article here. The poster of this article cleaned it up and made it real neat and readable there. So we're going to modify the preferences in Raspberry Pi configuration. I even went back to my own Raspberry Pi automatically mount a USB thumb drive at boot. I wanted to make sure to pull out this sudo change owner command. Just want to make sure that my user has the ownership and can read and write on that mount point. And then when I got done with all that, it was working. And then I realized that the mounted network share was read only. I couldn't put files on there and I couldn't modify files in the share. And I wanted it to be read write. So they're saying use this read write thing at the end. And then they also want you to specify a user ID and a group ID in your entry in the FS tab file. Okay, so this is going to be our mount point, Shotoku Tech, Network Drive, Shotoku Tech, under the Home folder. There's that change ownership command. And the newer versions of Raspberry Pi make you create a user. They don't let you run as Pi anymore. So you'll see I'm actually using the username Shotoku Tech on the Raspberry Pi. There's my network share and my mount point. We're using CIFS. There's that auto parameter. There's the user ID, group ID, both set to Shotoku Tech, and then I'm passing a username and a password to connect to the network share. And there's that read-write parameter at the end. And you pop a couple of zeros on the end of that FS tab line. You do a pseudo mount. Modify the Raspberry Pi configuration, just like they're talking about here. We go into configuration and say, basically, wait for network. And we reboot. So let's go. All right, we're going to make that mount point directory. Paste that into the terminal here. Let's check that. I want to check the ownership as well. During one of my iterations, it came out where Pi was the owner. I, I might have manually made the folder in the GUI. I don't know. I, but every, every one since then when I ran those make directory commands, I was the owner. So I didn't need to run this change owner command. I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. It's asking me for my password for sudo. Oh, I see there's a stray T in there. In that first, it says home, Shotoku Tech, but there's an extra T. Yeah, those paths there... They are case sensitive too. So that was, I had Shotoku Tech with the S and the T capitalized, and I had to go back and edit it, and I missed one of them. So there we go. We're going to go back and fix that. All right. So now we should have our mount point. Okay. We've changed the ownership. 
Like I said, that you might find that necessary, you might not, but at least it'll be in here. So now we're ready to run sudo nano etc fs tab and modify the fs tab file. We'll copy our mount information there. Use the arrow key to get down to the bottom and then we paste that in there. Control O writes it out. You hit enter. And then control X to exit. All right, so we'll go sudo mount A. And that's going to mount all the drives that are mentioned in the FS tab file. Let's check our work here. Yeah, okay. We have attached the network drive to that mount point. You can see the contents of the network drive. That's the network drive there. That's the mount point. Okay, so now we're going to modify the Raspberry Pi configuration, just like they say here. I'm going to go into the menu, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration. Oh, it needs my password. Okay. It's right here on the system tab, network at boot. You want to wait for the network because it's going to try to mount a network drive before the network is configured so it'll fail. Then you'll get an IP address from DHCP and boot up and have to run the mount command again. So this will prevent you from having that happen. It'll wait until the network comes up, then it will mount the network drive. We click OK. Now let's go ahead and reboot. Sudo reboot. Yeah, see, I'm doing this in uh, remote desktop. That's actually just an image in my uh, Hyper-V lab. Still working with the La Potato, uh, working on Wi-Fi and SSH, stuff like that, so stay tuned. Okay, we're back. Here comes, yeah, yeah, there's my network drive. It's mounted automatically after reboot. Now let's test read-write. Yeah, each iteration I get it so far and I'll be like, okay, but it's done, but it doesn't do what I want. I should stop and make a video. And it's like, no, you know, you're going to keep making videos until you get it right. So here's my new file. So I can create a file on that shared network drive. Let's edit it. Hello world. I'm going to save it. Open it again, make sure it saved that change. Yeah, okay. So far, so good. We can create a new file. We can edit it. Can we delete it? All right, we can delete that file. All right, so I hope this helps you out with mounting network drives in Raspberry Pi OS. Leave a comment down below. Happy to hear from you. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.